time on Paint by Monster, you'll need blank paper, or better yet, your sketchbook. Also, you'll need some kind of tool you can make lines with, like a pencil or a pen or a marker. There are six basic elements of art. Six building block components that art is made from. Here they are. Line, shape or form, value, color, space, and texture. And this time on Paint by Monster, we are going to talk about the very first element, the line. Lines are interesting to me because lines don't actually exist in nature. We use lines on paper to describe the stuff that we see, but the lines themselves are an abstract idea. The edges of the forms that we see are usually the things that we turn into lines on the paper, but like I said, the lines themselves don't actually exist. Think about how weird that is. And if that's not weird enough, think about how rare a straight line is in nature. Straight lines seem like they're hinted at by things like how standing upright suggests a vertical line, or how walking suggests both a vertical and a horizontal line, but visible straight lines in nature are not so easy to find. Welcome to the closest thing nature shows us to a straight line, the ocean horizon, the boundary between heaven and earth. Lines. This time on Paint by Monster. And the line says, here is the division between here and here. It's the line that shows where the boundaries are. It's the line that makes the edges clear. When a 3D object wraps away from you and you see the silhouette of its shape, well, it's on that edge where you draw you a line if you're trying to draw it on the paper. Oh, line, line, can you find the line implied by the scenery seen in my mind? They're there, but they don't exist. Can you see the line? the path that a point makes as it moves through space. And there's only really two basic kinds of a line. Lines can either be curved or straight. But there's horizontal, vertical, diagonal, and parallel, and converging lines. There's S-curve, spiral, and zigzag, and interrupted. Those are the different kinds. Oh, line, line, can you find the lines implied by the scenery seen in my mind? They're there, but they don't exist. Can you see the lines? Oh, line, line, can you find the lines implied by the scenery seen in my mind? They're there, but they don't exist. Can you see the lines? have to go stand in when you ride the bus. There are front lines, battle lines, drop me a line, hey, line up to go to lunch. There are story lines, clothing lines, the railroad lines, there are lines of dialogue in a play. When God made light, he made it go in a line, man, lines every night and day. Oh, lines, lines, everywhere the lines, implied by the scenery seen with my mind. They're there, but they don't exist. Can't you see the lines? Oh, line, line, try to find the lines, implied by the scenery seen with my mind. They're there, but they don't exist. Can't you see the lines? Lines. One of the fundamental ways we communicate with each other, and the oldest abstract way we communicate. 
When you're learning to draw, especially in the beginning, what you're learning to do is make lines that look like stuff. Drawing is making lines. All right, let's do a line exercise. With a blank sheet of paper or on a page in your sketchbook, I want you to draw using a single line on the paper. One line. That's it. Don't try to make it look like anything. Just react to the space. And I didn't mention using a brush at the beginning, but you sure can. Use something that makes a nice, big, fat line. The line can cross itself or not. It's up to you. Make a bunch of these and see if you can come up with something that you like enough to hang on your own art gallery in your own house. I mean your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for this time. I'll be back soon to talk more with you about art, and I'll show you a few more line exercises, and I might have some surprises. Maybe. If you're lucky. We'll see. But in the meantime, Paint by Monster is made by one monster sitting in a tiny upstairs bedroom studio smack downtown in Muncie, Indiana. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, go make some art, and see you next time. Oh, also, before I go, here are the people I stole from in the making of this video. I stole from artist and art teacher Juliana Kunstler from her site at julianakunstler.com. See the link in the description. It is a great site. She's a great art teacher, and I will steal more from her. Also, I stole from the Canadian rock group, the Five Man Electrical Band, and their 1971 hit song, Signs, obviously, Am I afraid they'll sue me? Nah. Like I said, they're Canadian. I stole from the artist Dave Collinson using his art, Nana 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 Batman, which is just wonderful and hilarious. You can buy a print of that and his other work, which I highly recommend. That might keep him from suing me. I don't know. He doesn't really look like a guy that sues a lot of people. See the link in the description. I stole from Christopher Richard Wynn Nevinson using his art, Returning to the Trenches from 1916. He's dead now, so probably he doesn't mind that much that I used his art. I'll know if I start getting haunted. And finally, I stole from my friend and fellow artist, David Slonum, who does the single line exercises while he's on the phone. I will put a link in the description to his Instagram page. Go see it. What's that? Ugh, oh, all right. What kind of line does a cat make? A feline. That is the worst joke ever. Ugh. See you next time.